What's all over my dress is we did a cooking segment on Daily Pop today, going back to school lunches because I'm that person now. She made some sort of half-cooked uh, tortellini that probably wasn't for eating, but I ate every <laughs> last piece and then I wet my hand on my dress because apparently I'm a toddler. So now, that is what all of this is. Oh, don't get me started on my closet woes. I am watching a lot of television right now. I get very much into TV when it's good TV. I've been watching Dr. Death. Have you watched it? Joshua Jackson is an incredible actor. He was so good in The Affair. I absolutely love the show. It is so well done, it is so well acted. Christian Slater just reminded us that he's just like always gonna be Christian Slater with those eyebrows. Alec Baldwin, he is so good, always. No spoilers, but it is about a doctor who is, shall we say, very f corrupt sociopath, like does bad things to people that doctors should not be doing. There's some stuff in the show that I could not watch because it was very gory and like, graphic and disgusting, but when they are operating, <laughs> on the spine. You can see how a lot of these procedures are a lot more simple than you think. And it's very interesting to see how really intelligent people walk the earth and like learn that like you and I will never be able to do. Like I couldn't even get my Dr. Pepper from in and out yesterday without it spilling. And I have somebody like cutting up somebody and like avoiding arteries. But it's an incredible show, very dark, very good. I've been watching White Lotus. Did you watch White Lotus? What are you doing with your spare time that you're not watching all these shows? It took me a few episodes to get into it because I feel like it took five episodes for us to get it to the eating ass scene. I was like, nothing happened up until that point, right? And that one girl, the main girl who is married to the douche, who I like, don't think is a douche secretly. <laughs> I kind of like loved him the whole time. I'm like, love him. She was like always just a little like too finicky for me, but like she's obviously beautiful. You know who I love? Connie Britton. Am I Connie Britton? She's always got this one. All right, Steve Zahn. Remember he was in that thing you do? Okay, I have a fun story about Jennifer Coolidge. First of all, icon, legend, love her. She's good in everything, but she's always the same person. Okay, maybe she's not like, oh yeah, my husband does a really, oh my God, I have to get him to do a voice note of her. He does such a good impression. I get to have a few drinks and then it'll just pour out. It'll pour out like, oh, I probably shouldn't say it in front of mixed company. That voice, why can't I do that voice? Can you do that voice? No, I can't do it. Oh yeah. The Prince is the funniest show. It is so funny, it is so brilliant, it is so well done. Gary Gennetti, genius. Let's work together in a capacity. I feel like we're both really smart and can do a lot of fun things together. I mean, just all of the characters, the way they're depicted, the way they're shown, it's so eccentric and so off the wall that there's no way they're like that. But then you're kind of like, they probably are like that. First of all, I am Prince George. That is my personality. That is who I am. When somebody follows him that he's like antagonizing, that he's like, well, you don't follow me. And then they follow, and then I'm like, oh, she follows me, unfollow. That's who I am. I'm really into the Instagram. My therapist told me <laughs> it's connected to the traumas in my life that I've had no control over. <laughs> All right, guys, let me know what shows you're currently obsessed with in the comments below. And if you missed last week's episode all about Rihanna taking over the world, make sure you check it out. And if you are dying for more Necessary Realness, then you need to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.